Well, I guess the first and most obvious question, uh, last we saw you, you're leaving the field in a, after a serious injury. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm feeling good. I'm in great shape. Been working out, training, uh, getting the ankle right. Uh, been working with a good rehab team back home in Arizona. So I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go. Like ready to go 100%? Like you're not? Oh, yeah. I don't really have no complications or anything. My ankle's fine. It's strong. I've been squatting. I've been running, doing my O-line stuff. Um, feel good. Actually, I feel like I'm in better shape than I was last year. So I'm just excited to get out there and just, you know, just get back, get back to the swing of things. We were talking about a month and a half ago. You mentioned that you were putting in some work with Kadeem, possibly with Diedrich as well. Yeah. Um, were you work with those guys all offseason? Uh, I mean, here and there, uh, it's a little different. They're running backs, but uh, I've always been a guy I like to work out with skill players because I feel like for a bigger guy, it kind of keeps me light on my feet, keeps me going. So, I mean, the beauty of living in Arizona in all season is I don't have to worry about inclement weather or anything. I always get outside and get a chance to get on the field. So, um, these actually lived maybe like 10 minutes from me, so I saw him a lot. So, I always try to, you know, pride myself on being that older guy to just, you know, build that camaraderie and connections with guys even when we're not in the building. A lot of continuity on this O-line, but obviously the right tackle spot's missing. Do you scouted any of the guys who are here in camp? I mean, yeah, I've been watching film. I mean, we got, we got a lot of big guys. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm used to having a lot of big guys in the room. I mean, when I first got here, we had Bergman and Spencer Wilson and, you know, Feder Kyle, like real, real big tackle, real big linemen. So it's nice to see a lot of a lot of trees trees walking around in the locker room, man. So we'll see how, how it works out for them. Just for the O-line as a whole, I mean, last year, most rushing yards in the league by far, by far the fewest sacks. What's yeah. what's the next step for this group? What, what does better look like this year? Uh, hopefully keep it under 15 for the year. Um, normally when I've been here, we've always been kind of the least sacks allowed. Um, we do a really good job offensively, scheme-wise, making sure we put ourselves in a position to win, man. And Pat Delmonico is the best offensive line coach in the league. So he does a great job of preparing us not just to be O-linemen at our respective position, but understanding the offense and understanding how to play in it as a, as a big guy. So I don't expect anything less from us um, to, be, to be the best unit in the league again. When were you able to get back into it and really start pushing yourself? How long have you been able to, you know, recover from a pretty serious injury? Uh, I pretty much maybe like three, four months after surgery. Um, you know, doctors told me six months before I get on my feet. I probably was on my feet maybe in like four and a half. So I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys, like I'm a, I'm a gym rat. I stay in the gym. I work out a lot. If anything I could do, I mean, I couldn't do a lot of running early on, but I stayed in the weight room. I think I actually put on maybe about 10, 15 pounds of muscle. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling amazing right now. I mean, my goal right now is to come in here be the best lineman that I could be, as I've always been known to be um, in the league, and just go out there and be a leader for this unit. What did you make of the changes that are on the defensive line you'll be facing in practice? Uh, a lot of a lot of power guys, man. I mean, I played against uh, Hauser for a lot of years. He's a, he's a good lineman. He's a good power lineman. Um, everybody knows Vot. Vot's been here before. I got a good rapport with him. Um, and you know where Mike Rose and Wiggle and those guys are going to be. So we got a really big D line. And those guys are going to push us, man. I think that's part of the reason why we've always been the best unit in the league is because we go against a really good D line every day in practice. So um, I'm looking forward to it, man. So it's, it's a lot of big guys in that locker room, a lot of guys with speed and power. So it's going to be fun. In this later stage of your career, how grateful do you feel to be here and still be healthy enough to be playing? Extremely, extremely, man. I'll be 35 this summer. So, I mean, a lot of guys don't get a chance to, you know, I've been doing this for 12 years now. So 12 years of pro football. So I've been in the CFL for about eight. So I've been doing it for a while, man. I mean, I, I was talking about it with uh, the equipment guys. Uh, when I looked at the date, when I wrote on the paper, and I was like 2023, and I was like, man, I remember getting here in 2015 and just being a young pup fresh off the street. So I've been around a lot, man. It's nice, too, to see a lot of older faces. See Smitty, see Nick Lewis, see Juwan, guys who are lifelong Stampede greats, man. And you know, hopefully once I finish the season, I can, I can kind of throw my name in, in that category.